Everything about copper part 3. In the previous video I got a bit lost while explaining the blue color of this solution. Now I will show you the synthesis of cupric oxide, straight to the point. First, dissolve some copper sulfate into half a liter of water. It produces a nice blue solution. Then, dissolve a little bit of sodium hydroxide into water. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base, so be careful, because when added to water it dissolves and dissociates completely. The process is exothermic, so the solution is noticeably hot. If you pour this solution into the blue one containing copper ions, you will trigger the precipitation of copper hydroxide. Finally, heat the solution to start the thermal decomposition and obtain our cupric oxide. And after 10 minutes of heating, you start to form this black oxide copper. This is really, really dark. You can filter it and dry it. And that was a short example of chemical properties of copper. In my next video, we will focus on the physical properties. Right. <laughs> cool.